Rick, stop. Don't do it. He's still breathing, Rick. Carl's not dead. He's alive. He's alive. He's breathing. He's alive. What do we do? What the hell do we do? We've got to... What the hell do we do? He's breathing, but he's unconscious. He's lost lots of blood. We've got to do something to stop the bleed. There's got to be something we can do. Yeah, we've got to stop the bleeding. There's a first aid kit back at the RV. We need to get him back to the RV. I, at the farm I live on, the guy that owns the place had a son shot in the foot. Now he got the bullet out, patched him up good. He, he works on animals around the farm. You think you could help my son? He ain't no doctor, but I think he'll know what to do. The, the place ain't a mile away. We'd be there right quick. Less than a mile? I... I can do that. Tyrese, get ready to help me roll him over onto my coat. Okay? Slowly. I'm going to this farm. You go back to the RV and tell everyone what happened. If it's less than a mile from here, you should be able to find it pretty easily. It's pretty easy to find. You can see it from the road. If y'all are parked just up yonder, you gotta be on 64. You'll snake around the road, and it'll be on your left. It's a little further away by road, but you'll find it easy. Come on, let's go. Lead the way. I'll be right behind you. Tyrese, tell Lori there's nothing to worry about. Okay. Tyrese? We heard the shot. Did you guys get something? Is everything up? Where are they? What happened? Where are they? Some guy thought we were zombies. He shot at us. Carl was hit, but he's okay. Rick and this guy are taking Carl back to some farm so another guy can help him. He's okay, though. He's just... They're going to... Where? Where are they at? Where? It's up the road from here. I know the way. Let's go! Where's your pa? He's at the house. What's going on, Otis? Who is that? Ain't no time right now. What happened? Who's this? What's going on? Boy's been shot. We need you to give him a look. Let's get him inside. Where's he been shot? How bad is it? Help me get this shirt off him, Otis. I've got to pull this bullet out. Run that over the fire to sterilize it. And hand me that bottle of alcohol. Okay, I think I've got a hold of it. Hold him down. Rick, where is he? Where's Carl? Is he okay? This guy is working on him. He seems to know what he's doing. I think he stopped the bleeding at least. Oh, Rick, what are we going to do? I don't know, Lori. I just don't know. I've got him patched up. I pulled that bullet out of him and I stopped the bleeding. He was real lucky. The bullet lodged in his shoulder blade must have come in at exactly at the right angle. Had that bullet been a little more determined, it could have gone right into his lung. Had that happened, I wouldn't have been able to do a whole lot of anything for him. He's still out, but I think he'll be okay. All we can do at this point is wait and see. Thanks, mister. I really... Name's Herschel Green. Don't thank me just yet. Your time would be better put to use praying for the boy. I ain't had a prayer answered in a good solid few months. So I figure we're about due for something good. I'm Herschel. This is my farm. You guys are welcome to stay here while the boy gets better. We've got plenty of food harvested because, well, the market's closed. And really plenty of room. So you're all welcome to stay for the time being. Now, 
let me introduce you to the folks living here. This is Lacey, my eldest daughter. The one with the chip on his shoulder over there is my son Arnold. My daughter Maggie is the one holding that chair down. My youngest son Billy. Rachel and Susie here round out the pack. Susie's the one with the pigtails. This is Otis and his girlfriend Patricia. They live up the road from here. Our place is safer than their place, so they've been staying with us while this whole thing blows over. That's about it from us here, aside from some critters running around outside. Lacey, could you take them out and show them around the farm, let them get acquainted with the place? I want to check in on the boy and make sure that everything's okay. <sighs> sure, whatever. This is our yard. If you'll follow me around back, I'll show you our backyard. I, um... Billy, Ben and I are going to set this one out. Uh, I'm just not up to it. They can still come. I'll keep an eye on them, Alan. I'm sure they'll want to see the cows. <sighs> That's fine. Go with Andrea, boys. Yeah, I want to see the cows! He looks so peaceful, so content. I hope he's having wonderful dreams and enjoying his break from all the madness going on out here. If only he could sleep until all this was over. Jesus, Rick, we don't want him to be in a coma. What a terrible thing to say. That's not what I meant. I... Damn it! I just wish that he didn't have to go through all this shit with us. Is that so wrong? I... Oh, God, Lori. I'm so damn worried about him. I love you, Lori. I don't know if I say it enough with all that's going on. I really love you. I've always loved you. I don't know how I'd get through any of this without you. I love you too. I love you so much. Otis, right? Yeah. I don't know if you caught it before. I'm Tyrese. You doing okay? I wouldn't hurt a fly. I mean, I, I was out there hunting. But I wouldn't kill no animal I wasn't going to eat. I'm real gentle. I ain't violent at all. And I... I shot that kid. I understand that Rick fella wanted to kill me. And, and if I had killed his boy, I'd wanted him to do it. I'd have deserved it. And we still don't know if he's gonna live. I ain't saying what you did was right, but you can't worry yourself to death over it. What's done is done. I'm worried sick about Carl, but there's nothing you or I can do about that now. Rick's been under a lot of stress. We all have. We just barely made it out some neighborhood that was crawling with those zombies. Our friend lost his wife there. Then, not a week later, his son is shot. He snapped. Neighborhood? That must have been Wilshire Estates. Patricia and I were there when all this started. Everyone in the area who could make it to Atlanta decided to hold up there. It was a disaster. We didn't have no protection once them things come in. We had no way of stopping them. Patricia and I barely made it out alive. Now we didn't have the National Guard protecting us like they do in Atlanta. Actually, from what everyone is saying, Atlanta is worse off. Really? Patricia and I were going to try to make it there when summer came. We figured it'd be safer there. Damn. Hey kids, go play with your Aunt Carol and Sophia. Your daddy and I need to talk. Kay! <laughs> Alan, we need to talk. Huh? What do you want? I want you to think about your kids. You've got to be strong for them. I know you're upset and you have every right to be, but those boys need you. You can't just shut down like this. What? What the hell are you telling me? Get over it? Stop being sad? You want to throw quit being a pussy in there and go for the home run? I just lost my fucking wife, you little cunt. Where the hell do you get off telling me about the grieving process? Fuck you! What? I don't know what it's like to lose someone. I just lost my fucking sister. I think I know a little bit about the grieving process. 
I know exactly what you're going through. I shut down when I lost Amy. I didn't speak for days. I, I, I couldn't think. I almost lost my mind. You don't have that luxury. Ben and Billy need their father right now. I was just trying to help. Oh, you asshole. My wife just died. And my sister died. And Shane died. And Jim died. My parents are probably dead. Everyone I've ever known are probably dead. My friends, my family, my neighbors, my co-workers, everyone. Everyone in this group is dealing with that. We're surrounded by death. It's taken over our lives. And there isn't a goddamn thing we can do about it. We either deal with it or we don't. And right now your sons need you to deal with it and get over it. They need you. Think about them. All I can do is think about them. It's all I've done now for days. I think about them growing up without their mother. I think about them getting older, forgetting about her, not even remembering her face. I'm thinking about that and it's tearing me apart. You little bitch. Don't come over here and try to give me advice. You don't know shit. You're not helping one bit. Leave me the fuck alone. Your son is awake. Oh, thank God. Oh, where's my hat? Oh, son. I'm so glad you're awake. How are you feeling, Carl? Does it still hurt? My shoulder does. Bad. Don't worry, son. You're gonna be okay. Nobody better not have taken my hat. Don't worry, kiddo. I was keeping it warm for you. Thanks, Tyrese. Don't mention it. I'm just glad to see that you're okay. I gotta say, Rick, Otis is really torn up about this. If you could just... I mean, he seems like such a nice guy. What am I supposed to say? It's okay you shot my son? It's not okay. I can't just let it go. What he did was so damn irresponsible. If he's that careless, he shouldn't be roaming around the woods with a gun in the first place. I just don't see the harm in- Somebody shot me? Who shot me? Oh, son. I'm sorry. In the woods, a man named Otis, he accidentally shot you. But don't worry, honey. Everything's gonna be okay now. You're gonna be fine. Otis helped me take you here. And his friend Herschel patched you up. We're going to be staying here while you rest. You've got a lot of new people to meet, son. Cool. I like meeting new people. You mind a little company? Sophia wants to see Carl. Come on in. Laura and I were just about to get something to eat. I'm sure he would love the company. Be good, Carl. Get some rest after Sophia and Carol leave. Look at them. They look so cute together. Let's let them talk. Did it hurt? I don't know. I don't remember. I think so. I bet I'm gonna have a big scar. Cool. Scars are sexy. Sexy? You don't even know what that means. Neither do you. So, I'm not the one that tried to say it. It's the grown-up word for pretty. I think. Well, scars aren't pretty. I'm glad you're okay. Mwah. Ew, gross! Laurie. What can I do for you, Dale? I'm gonna talk. And you're gonna listen. I'm an old man. Too old for arguments. So I want you to know that I really don't want this to become one. I'm gonna say what I have to say, and then we're done. Rick is the backbone of this group. He's the one stable thing we all got. He knows this. That's why when he's scared, you can't tell. You know he's scared, but he ain't showing it. We need that. We need him. I don't know what you did with Shane. I don't know what you did to put ideas in his head. But if that baby's his, and not Rick's, I'm begging you. Take it to your 
grave. It'll kill him. It'll be the one thing that makes him crack. And we don't need that. I'm not accusing you of shit. So don't try to defend yourself. I just wanted to say my piece. And I appreciate you sitting through it. I think they're done with dinner. Let's go eat. I'm impressed, Herschel. I've got to say, you've really got quite the setup here. I'm going to take Carl a plate before the food's all gone. I think I know how you felt when you first ran into us with all our canned goods, Tyrese. <laughs> Gotta say, pal, this guy's got me a little bit more impressed. At this rate, I think the next guy I run into is going to have a four-star restaurant set up in his mansion. Why are you staring at that black guy's girlfriend all the time? You didn't take your eyes off her all through dinner. Huh? I saw you looking at her. What's up with that? Before Tyrese came, I guess I had my eye on Carol. She's a bit older than me, but I liked her. I guess I'm a little bit pissed that I never made my move. Yeah, I guess she's pretty. It's not even that, I mean... She is pretty, but I don't know. Everyone around me is pairing off. There's just not that many women to go around. On top of all that's going on around me, I just don't want to end up alone too. I mean, I want to have sex at least a couple more times before I die. Jesus, I don't even know you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to spill my guts like this. I'll fuck you. If that's what you're after? I'll fuck you. I... What? My boyfriend's gone. (laughs) Probably dead. To be honest, he was a bit of a jerk anyway. You're the first guy I've seen in months that's not related to me or that Otis idiot. It's like I said, our choices aren't very broad. We've got to be proactive or we're going to end up alone. That does make sense. So, let's fuck then. You want to do that? Yeah, sure. Okay, guys, we need to talk. Dad! Don't dad me, young lady. This isn't going to go on right under my nose. I just don't have time to put up with this. I don't want to have to worry about you two fooling around all the time. I don't want to have to keep one eye on you on top of the other shit I have to do. You want to get pregnant? Do you not see how dangerous that would be? I don't know how Rick and Lori are dealing with it the way they are. This isn't a game. I know you two think you're in love, but you're young. Think about what you're doing. (sighs) Just keep your hands to yourselves. See? I told you we need to go ahead and do it. I want to be together with you for the rest of eternity. I don't want your father standing in the way of that. I know. I just don't want to do it until the time is right. We have to wait. Fine, Julie. We'll play it your way. I don't want to wait forever. My dad owned this place. I grew up on this farm, but I never liked it. I wanted to be a veterinarian. So that's what I did. Working on creatures, great and small, was my calling and I did it for years. After my wife died, my practice fell apart. She always held up the business end. All I did was work on the animals. I couldn't do much of anything without her. Sorry to hear about that. How long ago was it? She passed on almost six years ago. It was my father's dying wish that I would come back and work on the farm. It just seemed like the right thing to do. I've been at it for five years now. It's honest work. I can see why my dad loved it so much. There's nothing quite like living off the land. Providing for yourself. Knowing exactly where every piece of food you eat comes from. It's certainly come in handy in light of current events. That's for sure. Seems like you got a nice stable set up here. You're welcome to enjoy it while Carl heals. I'd recommend staying here in that time. It wouldn't be good for him to be out in the elements again. 
At least not right away. We don't have much room in the house. You'd still have to sleep in your RV. But we've got plenty of food and during the day you won't have to worry about being safe. What about your barn? You think you could move into that place? Most of us are pretty sick of cramming into that RV. The barn? You don't want to go in there. Trust me. That's where we keep all our dead ones. 